available to watch this live stream. Uh, low key have Claire on <laughs> on the background. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hop over to Neopets.com. I don't think I've done too much with Neopets in my live streams, which is actually pretty amazing because this is a Neopets YouTube channel. And uh, it's actually a little bit understated how much of this YouTube channel is specifically only Neopets. Um, <laughs> at least in the beginning when I started doing YouTube, the only thing that I posted about was Neopets. So it's actually a little bit amazing how much that's changed over time. Also, a huge shout out to The Sun uh, for not doing too much craziness with clouds and leaves today. This is a beautiful setup and I just hope it's going to stay like this. We're going to, the first thing we're going to do is head to the stock market. I made absolute bank the other day, just like manufactured Neo points. It was incredible. I think I walked away with like over 200,000. Oh, hey, what's up? Being of Nature Shadow and Caden. I hope you guys don't mind. We're starting off today on the Neopets, Neopets.com in specific. Let's see, is there, is there anything here we're specifically looking for? Do I want to sell that? You know, maybe I'll sell like one just for like a little, little, uh, little nest egg for the day, so to speak. Are there any games that you guys in specific want me to tackle today? Let me know. Uh, besides that, it looks like we're going to be buying AAVL. Yeah, still, still, still. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad that you could join from the start today, being of nature shadow. I hope that the uh, first few minutes are as exciting as the rest of it. Kaden wants me to do some chicken smoothie today, so I'll go ahead and I will load that up in the uh, thing, the browser window, the game uh, loader. <laughs> So there we go. Um, I've got a few things to do here on Neopets.com. As you can see, my yerbil is starving, and that is just not allowed. Hey there, Buffy. Yes, you are early. And hey there, Leon. How are you guys doing today? We're going to go straight to the labyrinth. And uh, that falls underneath the guise of treasure maps, because why would anything ever align to what you think it is? So often I accidentally type in like secret map and it's like, this doesn't exist. What are you doing? Neopets, it, it doesn't have to make sense. Okay, so the last time I did the lab ray was actually during that video where Clump Crusher turned into a boy, which is amazing. I've like literally had sex changes on Neopets so few times and the fact that it happened while I was recording was just like, Phew. Uh, okay, so nothing exciting this time. The majority of times that you're in, uh, that you go uh, to the library, nothing happens. I'm gonna do a little bit of resizing, so you don't get the boring stuff that's not relevant to the video. There we go. That's much more exciting. Why? Do you guys see black bars on the side of the screen? Uh, like, yeah columns, black columns on the side of the screen. Let's see if I can mess with the settings. No, that, that would require, oh, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and do, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just continue as if the stream is doing exactly what I want it to do. Um, so what I want to do right now is just check them into the Neo Lodge. And for some reason, like, Every time I get the email that's like, hey, we're done at the Neo Lodge, come take care of us, I am always like, I'm going to make a video about this, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep putting it off. And this obviously doesn't, I don't, I've never made a video about how the Neo Lodge works, and um, so it's just never going to happen, and I always just put it off under the guise that I'm waiting on that. Okay, so custard. I'm gonna get avatars. Ah, now everyone's noticed the black columns. Okay, all right, all right, let's see. Oh, that's why. Because the 
uh, re resolution. Ugh, I can't I can't change it while while I'm live. So for next time, I I will go ahead and fix it. Okay, so I'm going to feed this this green tea custard to my Neopet and. Oh my god. So the way that I need to do this actually is um, I need to create a different capture that I'm already using. There we go. And I'll just get rid of the one below it. Okay. All right. I can do this. Wow. Such technical ability. <laughs> All right. I, I should have gotten a degree in computer science. All right, hey Panda Cat, how are you doing today? All right, and let's just go like this, cause you don't need to see how charged my MacBook is right now. I'll leave that so you know what page I'm on. Only the most crucial pieces of information are being left. <laughs> okay, and does this stretch it? Yeah, that stretches it. Okay, all right. Wow, what an exciting setup process. Vixiella says that they love my royal Kiri and it makes them want a Kiri. Kiris are absolutely beautiful Neopets. They're great to customize. Uh, the royal girls look adorable. Agreed. That's why I got one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I should have just never pointed out the black columns on the side of the window. Next time that will be fixed uh, beforehand. Okay, so we're going to feed this to real estate and I should get an avatar. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We've really done it, guys. We've really done it. So now I'm going to go to uh, Taco Mountain, Volcano, and we are going to get another avatar because um, I'm just so good at, at doing everything. Hmm? Do I have to refresh or something? Well, okay, I'm not getting that avatar as much as I thought, but Panda Cat, I'm glad that you were able to join. Which notification brought you here? Was it YouTube's notification or was it Facebook? Me, me. Hey Buffy, yes, Neopets. This changed a lot over the years. Uh, I want to go to... I don't know if I got this during that video the other day. Um, does it not just take us to the... Okay. All right, I'm gonna dig deep into my Neopets knowledge to remember everything that I need to know. Okay, uh, and so what I really wanna go to is the, all right, so it was YouTube's notification that brought you here, is I wanna go to the, Book of Evil, I think is what it's called. Oh my gosh, okay. This is what I really want to do, so thank you everything that's ever existed. Vera, yes. Hmm. So I either already have this one or the mirrors that I have in my inventory are not good enough, so okay. We're just gonna feed the rest of the creatures with all of my food, stick them straight into the Neo Lodge, and then we're gonna continue with our day. Oh, thanks. He was dying and now he's starving. Okay. All right, let's see this Neo Lodge. All right, all right, all right. Do you guys hear that? Oh, never mind, it's over. Um, just the, uh, the beautiful outdoors of my apartment. Uh, there's like a busy street, so sometimes like car alarms will go off or the like. My favorite part about the Neo Lodge, I think, is uh, the fact that the illustration right here that says Neo Lodge is very different than the illustration that's on the thumbnail for this video, which is this thing right here. Why are they so different? Um, but yeah, so let's, let's do it. And this is, why does this exist? <laughs> it exists just so people log in once every 28 days. That's why. I would argue that, uh, something's broken if you just set this up. 
Oh man, good job, Kaden, making some movement on uh, on all of your FR stuff. Also, I love how like early '90s this is. Like it's a receipt. Such great web design. <laughs> okay, all right. So it's Clump Crusher now. L Estate, and then we'll do a Pranky and Twific. Beautiful, beautiful Neopets. I was also thinking of like cracking open the uh, Adobe Photoshop and doing a little bit of illustration today, but uh, that was such a last minute thought, like T minus four minutes I had that thought. So like, let me know if you guys wanna see something like that in the future. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, if, if you're starting from scratch, I really don't recommend uh, getting into Neopets.com just because it's less exciting than uh, the other games that are actively in development. Hmm. So, Jay Farrar, hey there, first of all, welcome. Uh, for some reason, I feel like they changed the image in the Lodge itself, but didn't change that for the Lodge link, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why <laughs> the, the, there's like that, like, lack of cohesion um okay so next we're gonna go to the food club and we're gonna look up some food club bet Oops. and we're gonna go ahead and do that uh how many people here are familiar with the food club because that's definitely something um, that there seems to be some interest about on my YouTube channel, but I get if people are like, what is this? Um, okay, so it's the right amount of time for us to do it. So, food club we go. We are going to place some bets. There we go. Okay, um, so we're going to open this up in a different window. This is super advanced techniques, everything that I'm doing right now. So like break out a pen and paper and start taking notes about how amazing my technique is. Um, that's sarcasm. That's <laughs> okay, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my God, okay. There we go. Does that look good? Yes, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna do shipwreck, lagoon, Harpoon Harry's, and it's going to be Squire Venable, Bonnie Pip. So uh, I tried doing like research on the spreadsheets and like how to do this yourself, and there's like all these pages that with guides, and frankly, it was just so much that I didn't feel like tackling. So that's the reason why this video hasn't come out yet. Like how to do food club bets because when it comes down to it it's I look up a guide and then I copy in to the place of bet what I'd like to bet uh, so that's the reason why I haven't made the video yet but this is such a lucrative way to make neo points like it's absolutely ridiculous it's manufacturing neo points it's a habitarium minus the habitarium also doing a video about habitarium sometime in the future so look look forward to that Alright, so this, mm, 3986, yeah, of course, Moonbeam Cat, yes, you are, of course, allowed to ask any question about any game, even if I'm not actively streaming about it, because I'm only, I'm only going to be playing Neopets until after I'm done uh, with these food club bets, and then I'm going to jump over to another game, but you could always ask about Ask about any game that you have any kind of curious curiosities about. You could even ask me questions about, like, I don't know, Pokemon if you wanted. Uh, so let, let's see. Hey, Fox Hawk, what's up? Also, just reading that confused me so much and how to pronounce it. Because I was like, do, do I say Faux Hawk? <laughs> what's happening here? Okay, uh, advanced naming techniques. Okay. Um, Lagoon, Young Sproggy. Google the growl. Did I support evocality? No, I did not. And I'm not saying that like, no, I think it's a bad thing. Uh, no, I just don't think I was about paying attention when it was funding. Did I ever play Phonosphere or Toontown? Oh, oh, oh my God. 
You ask the million dollar question, Megan Kaza. Oh dear. Okay, so this is an exciting thing to talk about while, um, while I do this. So Toontown is an MMO that was created by Disney. Um, and it recently closed uh, about like three or four years ago. Uh, Disney took Toontown online servers offline, which is a huge, big, it's a very big deal. Uh, they took off like, three or four games at one time. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, Fairy Hollow, some other games all at the same time. And uh, it's kind of like the Canary in the Gold Mine situation, where it's indicative of a larger problem. And so the larger problem is that MMOs are struggling. Like, World of Warcraft has had to, like, make critical thinking decisions about their monetization of the game. Uh, and so I played Disney's Toontown Online when I was a child, and I very much enjoyed it. You know, I didn't always... Uh, I mostly just played the free trials because my parents wouldn't pay monthly for me to play the game. But it was a well-designed very interesting game. I just thought it was really fun. And so they closed it and I was able I was able to get access to it uh, after making like a YouTube video like, oh, somebody give me your account. But the part of Toontown Online that we really all need to <laughs> I was in a journalism class at the time and we had a blogging competition in our class and whoever got the most views um, won. And so this had just begun, this had just started, this competition in our classroom just began. And um, I decided to post a blog post about Toontown Online closing. And I got uh, 40,000 views in three days. And so I got into contact with the Toontown rewritten staff, Joey. Uh, I was the first person to release any information about this, but you know, Joey and I got into contact with one another and we just started talking. And this, like I said, this was like many years ago. This was in 2013. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to do a video about it because I haven't mentioned it, but this is like uh, what really started the renaissance of me making, uh, releasing content because I noticed there was this lack of news outlets for games, and I believe that like going open source is the future of gaming, and I think that the Toontown Rewritten team is just doing such amazing stuff, and it's like, I talked about this in the, um, in one of my recent videos about Brian Nexus, that like being young is a disadvantage, but just because it's a disadvantage doesn't mean you can't do something. Because, like, Joey uh, is, like, creating a, an amazing game. You know, he's the main admin. So, like, do I know about Toontown Online? Yes, I do know about Toontown Online. Um, you hit you hit a vein there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I totally recommend... Um, I totally recommend Toontown Rewritten. It's going the right direction. People are always complaining that like, they're not releasing updates fast enough. And it's like, okay, but do you remember when like Disney wasn't releasing updates for years? <laughs> like, uh, gosh darn the Toontown Rewritten team for keeping your game alive. <laughs> so, yeah. How old am I? I am 24 years old. I will be 25 in March. Real bona fide adults. I pay the bills. Uh, sure. Treasure Island. Harpoon Harry's. So, yeah, I could definitely do a live stream sometime. I was thinking that since these weekend videos tend to be more about, um, like, updates and, like, getting direction for the upcoming week that if I ever did a video during the week, uh, during the weeknight, that it would be a game, uh, like an immersive game, like either Toontown or a Roller Coaster Tycoon or City Skylines. But uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, I could definitely try to arrange that.
So, wow, we're already 20 minutes in. So as soon as I'm done with this, we're gonna to switch to a game that isn't Neopets.com. And uh, that's an exciting prospect. All right, Shipwreck Lagoon for Prince Harry's. Okay, all right. So, Bonnie Pip. Yeah, so anyways, I'm, that was a great, Megan, that was a great suggestion. Also, I need to email you. Um, we really need to do a subscription. Uh, how do you see how much gold you have on hand in Navalar? I can't find it listed anywhere. Frustrating. I'll open that in a minute, and uh, I'll just go ahead and preemptively. I can't believe I got to talk about Toontown today. Today is a good day. So um, a couple weeks ago, I went to a party. It was like a housewarming party at someone's apartment, obviously. And... Um, I walked into this room and I introduced myself. I said, hi, I'm Julie. And this person said to me, they said, wait a minute, are you the girl who did coverage of Toontown Online closing? <laughs> and I was so proud of myself. I was, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> so, okay. So how you see how much gold you have on hand. Uh, as you see over here, gold coins uh, right underneath the active pack. Yeah, Megan, I know that you've been busy with Elemental Cove. That's exactly why we need to talk and do stuff together and release it to the internet so everyone can hear about what's going on with Elemental Cove. Okay, all right. So, um, so that was that one. Yes, that was that one. Okay, two more to go. All right. Um, Shipwreck, Lagoon, Harpoon Harrys. And no, don't worry about it, Moonbeam Cat. Like, that was hard for me to find, too. Like, I just, I had a moment trying to locate it. Okay, Bonnie, Pip, Colorford, Glue, Glue. Like, uh, intuitively, like, we tend to rely on the treasure amount being in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Like, just look at these games that I have open. They all have currency in the upper right-hand corner. So it's like, it's not, you know, there's no shame in relying on the shorthand that the entire ecosystem has built for you. Ooh, Megan Kaza has some juicy lore stuff about Elemental Cove to share with me, and that's what I live off of. So, all right, okay, we'll talk. We'll talk offline about it. Uh, place a bet, and this is for Treasure Island and Harpoon Harrys. And it's for Fairfax the Dex Hand, Dex Hand, Deck Hand, and Goobla the Grawl. Okay, cool. We're done with Neopets.com. Woohoo! I'm a free elf. Okay. So let's go ahead and scoot on over to Chicken Smoothie. So in all fairness, I have not been keeping up with my Chicken Smoothie stuff. So have I already gotten this item? I have not. I have one pending trade. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Two pending trades, just one of them is new. All right. Oh, hey! Oh my god! So this is from Meraki. I don't know if they're with here today. So, um, yes, yes, Buffy. Harry Potter references at every corner. Um, but oh my god, these are so beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Aesthetic, aesthetic times 12,000. Um, okay, all right. Oh, so pugly. Okay. Owl cat. And then something else on my wish list. Oh my god. So kind, so, so kind. All right, thank you. Smiley face, yes, accept the trade. And then I'm going to see what the other, oh, Julie, Julie. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, I almost missed that. Okay. Um, and then this one, they wanted these things 
from me, but uh, no, I'm going to say no. No, thank you. Because they wanted a lot of stuff and um, I don't want to give up my stuff. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go to my wish list and remove the things that I now own, which is just that one. Groovy. Okay, and then back to the homepage. Cody says, the only sites they have seriously played are Neopets and Court Cartoon Orbit. So, uh, the games that I've played seriously are Neopets, Flight Rising, Clan Heart, Lioden, Virtual Pop Star, Tattered Weave, uh, <laughs> too many, too many. I take everything too seriously. These are beautiful. Oh my god. Alright, take me back to where I was. Um, but there are like a bunch of games that I have played that no longer exist, so that's frustrating. Like, uh, does anybody remember like early Nickelodeon's website? Like, that, that was... My jam. Okay. All right. Ooh, what a pretty colored box. I really need to sort all my stuff. Oh, they're little. They're little. <laughs> they're little uh, ferret-like creatures, gerbils and rats and cute stuff. Okay. And then, oh my God. There's so much stuff that I haven't retrieved. Julie, there's so many freebies that I just have not been paying attention to. Oh my god. I'm overwhelmed. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Nope, I already have this one. Okay. Lydon, Flood Rising, Tattered Weave, Pine Ridge Hurting. Yeah, I haven't heard of Pine Ridge Hurting. Um, and then I already have this one. Why? Why is this organized like this? So the new stuff they add to the top. I already have this. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, jeez. Can they gray it out or something when we claim it? I'm not good enough at remembering <laughs> to know what I already have and what I don't have. Um, and then these are additional pets that you can get after you find stuff. Okay. All right, that's all good. So things are very good. Oh, Moonbeam Cat. So about Clan Heart, it's just been so long since any updates were made. Ugh. Frankly, I I love Clan Heart. Let's, let's go ahead and go to Clan Heart for a moment. So I love Clan Heart, and I'm so excited about it. I just wish there were more updates and more communication from our darling leaders. Um, right now there are two users online. Two. That's such a small number. Like, oh. I, I, I am equally excited about Clan Heart. It's just, I don't want my heart to be broken. So at this point, like my expectations are so low because I don't wanna, I don't wanna be hurt. Hmm. Yeah, so, um, all right, we're going to head to Tattered Weave because this week I mentioned it a little bit and people were saying stuff like, what do you do on Tattered Weave? Or like, how is Tattered Weave fun? There's like five minutes of dailies and then nothing. So, okay. So first of all, we're going to run through my quests and then we're going to do other stuff. First, we're gonna take our currency that we earned by logging in. Uh, give me my currency, thank you. Then we're gonna do the stuff that gives us stuff because we need things. Excellent, beautiful. Um, give me items. And then we're gonna do the stuff where it could get stuck. Panda Cat says they tried for a villa, then they forgot about it. Yeah. <sighs> Yes, so new games in particular have like a special challenge where they have to have enough to keep users interested, but they're new, so they don't have that, they don't have everything built yet, 
And it's just, it's interesting because it's like you need to launch with your core activities in place. And if your core activity is lower, um, that's especially a challenge because lore comes second after infrastructure. So that's just something that I'm learning that uh, game developers are learning at the same time. So Buffy Pie, about the metallic crayons on Tattered Weave. So Buffy is my friend on Snapchat and uh, we chat and she sent me that she was looking for metallic crayons. So the thing is, Somebody commented this on one of my videos because I was like complaining about Tattered Weave and it like totally changed everything that I feel about Tattered Weave. And it's that if there is a quest asking for something that you can't find or it's too difficult to find or it's like asking for five things, if you just decline it, then at the hour rollover, you'll have another quest and it doesn't, it doesn't deter your progress. So, like, I had, like, a quest in there for a month, and I just, it was not restocking the purple dye that I needed. And if I would have just reset the quest sooner, I would have been able to move past it sooner. Uh, so, so, like, that's something to keep in mind about Tattered Weave, is that if it's something that's too complicated to acquire, you can, like, literally... Just forget about it and move on. Okay, so I'm going to play a game and eat a food item. I'm also going to go cycle through. Oh, I'm sorry being of natural shadow. Me, me, me. I'm sorry that everyone's being loud and uh, keeping you from hearing. I don't need any of this. So we're going to move on. Tailored fashions. <laughs> yeah, so once user shops are up, it's going to make questing on Tattered Weave so much easier. I don't need any of this. Ah! Just because reselling is going to be a much easier way to complete quests. We're going to go to the arcade. What? Incoming trade request? Sea bones, sea bones. Who are you? Reveal yourself. It's sugar cookies. Uh, can I can I respond with a comment? Uh, thank you. Who are you? Who is sea bones? Right. Yeah. So I mean, if you guys run into that issue. Totally, totally just quit the quest because the fun part of the game is completing quests and progressing in your relationships with the different NPCs. But on top of that, people are like, what's the point of Tattered Weave? It doesn't seem to be very fun. And I understand that. And oh my god. What is this? What's happening here? This is like some Five Nights stuff. Oh my god. What? Oh. Is this like a Halloween specific thing? I've never... What? What? What is this? Okay, alright. So we are going to feed something to my kith, and then we are going to... Um, <laughs> and then we are going to play a game. Feed to active kith. Yes. And that's completing a quest. And then we're going to play Paper Airplane 2. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I'm not very good at this game. This is like Flappy Bird. Oh, oh my god. I am so bad at this. I don't know how many of you watch Pewds, but he recently did a video about his worst videos, and this just reminds me of him playing Flappy Bird. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Let's do it. 
Uh, okay, all right, we're done. I did such a good job at that game just now. I mean, I'm the best video game player. All right, and so that was Admirable Allies. He gave me milk. <laughs> okay, all right, and then um, I played a game and I got a wrench. We're gonna decline that. We're declining all of these. Um, close, and then this one we're also gonna decline. I'm just gonna decline all of them that I don't readily have because that's so much effort. Um, all right, decline. Cause I don't feel like doing it. And then English vocabulary. So the point of um, Tethered Weave is to level up your kit. I don't know, I mean, the game design could probably endorse this more somehow, um, but it's really easy to overlook that. People are like, I log in and there's nothing to do, so I log off. So I feel like the um, reward the reward system should activate earlier and have a more clear status somewhere um, because people will give up and they won't even prioritize it because they don't know it's possible. But part of the secret sauce of Tattered Weave is that users don't know how to level up their kith like it's supposed to be secret sauce that you strive for but at the same time they don't give like enough hints to how far you've progressed um so like that's like a little bit of, like of a challenge of tattered weave like you get to see you see your ability stats and the tips and hints that we've gotten so far on tattered weave is that it's directly correlated to this um, but that doesn't really help um, motivate people. So it's like an active thing to think about there. So yes, trade. And then after this, Lydon. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so I have a lot of faith in the Tattered Weave developers that this is something that they will address. And I have no doubt that they will do what they can to try to make the game more successful. I have no doubts about that. I have a lot of faith in um, the Tattered Weave team. They're so efficient. I mean, look at what they've created. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. Okay, um, we're gonna go now to Lydon. Lydon is great. I'm a big fan of it. The Lydon team is also super efficient. They're not, they're like effective, I think is like the right word that I need to use for them. Like they do so much and they're just building such an amazing game. My next video, I'm going to try to not be like super critical, but it's like Lydon layout suggestions and like game structure feedback but like at the same time I like really don't want to sound like I'm whining like eh. um <laughs> so it's gonna be an interesting one to balance because I really like Lydon but I also like the reason that I am like hesitant about making the video or the reason why I'm inspired to make the video is because the developers are just so good at taking feedback. So hopefully it's not perceived as, uh, as whiny. Okay. I love Lydon. This is such a good game. So good. Um, I have six more minutes until I can battle anyone on Lydon. Okay, so we're gonna head to my inventory and we're gonna feed some limes. I think that's what I need to do right now. <laughs> okay. 
All right, let's do this. I have every every line in my den is starving because I play so so rarely. Like when I like my main issue is that I'll initiate a rollover, play for two minutes, and then log off. And um, you just can't do that on Lydon because when you initiate a rollover, everyone gets hungry. Kaden's dream pet on chicken smoothie is also the hardest to get, and that's very unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. But if you keep playing, um, I'm sure that you can work your way up to it, right? Like, if you structure smaller trades um, and you just make it very well known that you're looking for something, aren't you, won't that help you accomplish that goal? All right, all right, Time Lord Snowy uh, doesn't bother with trading that much. Same, uh, I mean, my entire chicken smoothie account is just like from the kindness of the community and I really appreciate all of everything that everyone's doing for me on chicken smoothie because I'm, like in the beginning, I was um, pursuing trades, but I'm, I'm not pursuing them much anymore. People are coming to me, so that's, Super convenient. Let's feed all of these lionesses. Ugh. And then I'm going to breed with a bunch of lionesses. If you play Lyodin and are in the Pet Simmer squad, um, you should really check out the clan. There's an amazing raffle ongoing. I'm going to open that up. Uh, Leon says... Can we talk about stuff that would be cool to add to a game? For example, if Flight Rising got a feature like if you pay 50 gems, you can choose a dragon that is going to be animated. And so this is, I always talk about this. This is actually a feature of Bonktopia uh, that because of the nature of the illustrations of the pets, they can be animated rather easily. My Buffy says, my four-year anniversary on Lion was about two days ago. I don't actually play, I don't actively play for a lot of time because, you know, real life stuff. But it's cool to see how much it's changed since I first signed up. That's super cool. Like, I, I how long have I been playing? I joined in 2014. So I've been playing for two years. Um, so that's so exciting. Um... Kaden says, it's fine to put in perspective, my dream pet is supposed to be worth a few 2009 rares. But with demand, it's worth a high main list, which is really hard to get. I'm sorry, just keep working and I'm sure you'll get there. Hi, Cynthia. Panda says, how often are you involved, Dom, Julie? Are you asking about like Flight Rising Dom or what, what kind of Dom are you talking about? And Being of Nature Shadow says, that Clarendon might be getting animated parts of the site. Very exciting, but uh, something to keep in mind with animated parts of the site. Oh, hey there, Wapa YouTube. What? What are y'all going on about? Uh, Panda Cat wants to know about Flight Rising dominance. How often do I participate in that? Not very often at all. How do I? How do I manage spam in the chat? Anyone, anyone familiar? Um, <laughs> what, a, what a very exciting uh, opportunity is being presented to us. Hmm. Oh, hey. That's easy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, so how often do I find, um, how often do I participate in dominance on Fly Rising? Not very often at all. I can't even recall the last time I did, just because, um, I don't know, I don't find it very easy. Megan says that I need mods. Uh, yeah, I would love to have some guest mods on the YouTube um, but to tell you the truth, I don't, 
I get so few trolls on my videos, um, like commenting, and this is the first time that anything's happened in my live stream, that I think that I can handle it. Uh, when I get like twice as large, I think that might be a thing that I start looking into. You know, if the burden becomes too strong for one person to hold on their own, then perhaps I will turn over that responsibility. Back to the comment of animated features in virtual pet games. You just have to keep in mind, like, uh, why does this not work? You know, what are the examples of it working? What are the examples of it not working? And so, thankfully, we can stand on the shoulders of those who came before us, specifically Neopets.com, <laughs> um, because they pioneered so much in this space, we can draw off, you know, those learnings. And so, when we're talking about, like, animation in virtual pet games, we have to keep in mind why it didn't work on Neopets. And so, I'm going to pull up Fairyland. And I hate these, I hate these animated maps. I absolutely hate them. Does that, does that change anything? Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Um, Megan wants to know, do you find playing so many pet sims negatively affects your overall pet experience since you can't fully focus on one pet sim? So I think it is a design oversight if you design your game to compete for a dominant spot, right? Like if your game is designed to be the only game that a player p plays, then you're not being very honest with yourself about what the role of a virtual pet game is. And so, don't worry about it. Um, so, do I feel like it detracts? No. Because most days I just play Flight Rising and maybe Lyodin. Most days I only play Flight Rising. Uh, so I don't, it doesn't actually negatively impact my experience um, because I only do stuff that interests me. Uh, Cynthia, yeah, I just went over Tattered Weave actually <laughs> about how um, the goal is to level up your kith and how it's like very secret sauce. Do I accept Neo friend requests? I'm gonna make a video about this shortly, but like, uh, theoretically, I accept Neo friend requests, but in practice, it's tedious and it doesn't actually add to the gameplay experience. So when I say I'm gonna make a video about this, I'm gonna make like a very like open-ended why make friend lists available in game if they don't actually do anything for the game experience. Um, looking at you, Lyoden, you can add friends, but it doesn't actually have a function. Why? <laughs> or like on Flight Rising. Why can I add friends if I can't actually do anything with those friends? Like, I don't I don't understand. I, I legitimately do not get it. Um, yeah, so yes, I, I accept Neo friend request and I just accepted a whole bunch. And I, I theoretically accept friend requests across all video game platforms. All right, Kaden, thank you for stopping in. This is actually gonna wrap up in about 10 minutes. I should probably do like one thing on Flight Rising first. Before I jump off. Ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hatch my first ice nest. Ooh, so exciting. Can I name a pet game that utilizes friend lists in a good way? No, I cannot. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is the best at utilizing friend lists uh, in a good way. Uh, Twitter. Uh, but you're asking game, and I'm just talking design. Um, so, yes, being of Nature Shadow, I really like your, your, uh, your analysis that maybe friends should be offered only if the friend list benefits. So maybe sort your friends into lists that you can ping. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so the challenge of making the video that I want to make 
is that I don't want to call something out, then offer easy solutions, and then developers just use those easy solutions instead of working through the problem uniquely and for themselves. Um, but yes, essentially, if you are going to have friends on a game, there should be some reason why. You know, like on Flight Rising, what can you do with your friend list? Anybody know? <laughs> you can look at them. You could view all of them. That is so useful. But if you had like friend only auctions, which I think is something they're working on. Um, Neopets, you have Neo friend only auctions. That's useful. I mean, theoretically. Um, yeah, so definitely it's something to think of. Yeah, Vixiella says, I wish friends on Leiden could send out hunting parties for one another or something. So yeah, that's just something to think about. Like, I hope. <laughs> Cynthia just had the best comment that I think I've read in a long time. Neo Friends is still in beta, so maybe they'll change it. LOL psych. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is it in beta? Where does it say that? Oh, oh, you mean the Neo Friends online thing. Okay. Megan says, on Weave, you can maybe have collaborative quests. Yes, that would be helpful. Uh, Jay Farrar says, to take that sort of stuff, something I wanted for a long time, was something like NeoQuest, or that one game that's like chess and may make the multiplayer. You know, Neopets Key Quest game was such a great multiplayer game. And it's such a shame that it's offline now. Like, they should have, like, simplified it. I wasn't super into the aesthetic. Like, ugh, come on, Neopets. Why do you, why do you introduce things and then take them away from us so often? Ugh. Just kidding, Neopets hasn't done anything of value in two years. Um, Okay. Positivity. I radiate it. Um, Alright. Yeah, so, like, things that I think a neo friend, like, a friend list should do. I think there should be, like, a friend-specific news feed, a friend-specific forum, you know, some something that adds incentive to actually having neo friends, virtual friends. Because it's a feature that exists because people want to be able to add their friends. But after that, there's no benefit to having friends. Like, it's it's not built in. Yes, and Cynthia pointed out that KeyQuest was destroyed when they were switching servers between owners. Yes, that's true. Um, but it wasn't destroyed. It just, its servers did not themselves port over, like... The new Neopets team has access to KeyQuest. Um, it's just they don't have the support to support KeyQuest. So it's, yeah, they don't have enough staff. Yeah. And the reason why they didn't relaunch it was because it wasn't profitable enough, Megan said. Yes, Neopets.com is not profitable enough. Uh, that's why we've had it changed ownership to a website that is not developing it anymore to a new team of owners um, and why is it not profitable anymore because they don't put effort into it <laughs> like, it's such a vicious cycle <laughs> okay all right um let's read some lines uh no they didn't they did not lose the files to key quest they have you know like they developed it you know, it's their game. Well, it was developed for Neopets. Like, they have it. Uh, the entity that is Neopets has KeyQuest. Um, the resources for it. Ariel Winter says, I wish I was 17 to join Liaden. It looks fun. Yeah, it looks fun, but it's also a realistic lion simulator. Like, all of, like, the, the natural parts of being a lion. And because they want to be able to accurately convey all those accurate those parts uh, they have to make it inaccessible to younger users 
Lion will still be here when you're old enough to play. Please do not sign up for a game that does not allow people of your age to play it. You will lose all of your progress when they close your account. It's just not worth it. Like, just wait. Like, trust me, it'll still be here. I don't need to lose your progress. And yes, Megan is right. The same thing happened to Toontown. They had a model. They didn't develop the model. The model didn't make money. They stopped developing it. And then <laughs> it didn't make any money. So then they closed it. It's a vicious cycle. You have to be willing to do stuff to try new stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the cutoff age for Lydon is. I'm 24, so it doesn't really apply to me. Um, but definitely play other games while you're waiting. I do not recommend joining uh, Lydon when you're not old enough to join. And Moonbeam Cat quoted me on there's no benefit to having friends and uh it's an accurate depiction of my life. <laughs> no, um, no, yeah, just as in a game design perspective, there should be a, there should be a use to having friends. Like you should not build a feature and then not have that feature part of the overall game structure. So, you know, exciting. Vixiella says, what really makes me mad is they have key quest tokens available to buy in the Neo Cash Mall, but no key quest. And that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, comment. That's very good feedback. Um, so we've got three minutes left in the stream today. As I always try to push, um, if you would like this to go on for two hours instead of one hour, that is a goal that from when we hit $250. So if you want to make it happen, you got to be the change that you want to see in the world. Mainly my streams. Mm, do I have anything pending on any of this stuff? Did I hit everything that everyone wanted to see? Good work, Panda, for um, the ironic friend request of the week. Appreciated. <laughs> um and yeah i think i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover today we're gonna go to the beetle battles beetle battles beetle battles everyone comment your favorite youtuber not me um because i want to know what everybody watches also before we go before we go does everyone ignore my crop top over a regular top? Does everyone know what this is? Do you know what this is? I was in an argument with boyfriend yesterday where he was like, not everyone knows what that is. And I'm like, everyone knows what that is. Clearly, everyone knows. So you guys know what that is, right? Cause it was my Halloween costume. <laughs> All right, so the majority knows who it is. It's the European Union. It's the European Union flag. It's the flag of the year, the, you know, one of the most important governing bodies on the planet. Uh, so, EU was my Halloween costume. Okay, all right, the grand majority know who it was. Those of you who do not, that's fine. Um, I just really love flags, vexillology. So the favorite YouTubers that I'm seeing here are Game Theory, Warriors, Map Animators, Game Theory. I love Game Theory. Game Theory is my favorite. My channel is uh, molded after Game Theory. Yeah, so actually my Halloween costume was Brexit. Fun fact, my boyfriend was wearing uh, the Union Jack flag, I'm wearing the EU flag, and so we were Brexit together. Uh, Rosanna Pansimo, Let's Plays, Runaway Guys. Okay, all right, so, all right, that's, that's useful information to know what you guys all like. Anyways, it is now 3 p.m. If there's any last bits you want to throw in, 
before we close the stream, let me know. But uh, otherwise, it was a very lovely afternoon live stream, and I just destroyed Parfait. Good work, Carl. Did I get anything? No? Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I had lots of fun. Thank you for affirming that people know what the EU is. Uh, thanks for accepting me, even though I th don't think having friends is important. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you all again, maybe this week. Maybe, maybe this week on a, li on a live stream in the evening, uh, but also maybe next Sunday. All right. You guys have a nice, nice Halloween weekend, and I will see y'all.